From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith with Health Minister Wells suggesting that we could reach COVID-19 herd immunity by August with a combination of exposed persons and vaccinations. The process continues. Health officials in Long Island, Cat Island, San Salvador, and the Berry Islands today to give shots there. Minister Wells says the response in the islands has been good after initial hesitancy. What we found is a lot of Bahamians in the family of islands who were sort of hesitant initially and have now stepped forward, seeing that so many individuals globally have been vaccinated. Opposition leader Davis reacting to Prime Minister Minister's budget closing yesterday. He released a statement saying the budget is disconnected from reality and does nothing to move the country forward. The Senate now preparing to debate the budget bills. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Problems apparently for Central and South Eleuther MP Hank Johnson. It seems some people in the area don't want him to be the FNM's candidate for the next general elections, and they've made representation to the party to have him recalled. Johnson dismissing the criticism, describing it as someone's personal beef. The Attorney General's office has announced that it intends to take the Bahamian men, foreign women, children's citizenship question all the way to the Privy Council after the appeals court upheld an earlier Supreme Court ruling on the issue by a 3-2 to vote. Two Bahamian men facing human smuggling charges in Florida after their boat was intercepted by the U.S. Coast Guard about eight miles off the U.S. coast. There were 13 migrants on that boat. They will return to the Bahamas, the men being held by U.S. authorities. The country now operating under new curfew hours because of declines in recent coronavirus cases. The Prime Minister says health officials will monitor the situation closely and changes either way will depend on the numbers. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Partly cloudy and warm tonight, overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 79 in the capital, 80 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable. The sea's three feet or less. The next tide is a high around 7 this evening. Wednesday's forecast, some clouds, some sun, highs in the upper 80s, maybe some low 90s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. World news headlines, different sides of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. The U.S. dropping below 300 deaths per day for the first time since March last year, while Philippine President Duterte is threatening to put persons in jail for refusing to get vaccinated. That country battling a current surge. They have more than 1.3 million cases, more than 23,000 deaths. China is now accusing the U.S. of interference for donating corona vaccines to Taiwan. Sports notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. On TV, there's plenty of soccer. That major international tournament continues in Europe. John Quill Jones continues her play for Bosnia in the Euro Basketball Championships. Major League Baseball full schedule for Tuesday. Jazz and the Marlins open a series against the Blue Jays. NBA playoffs game two tonight in Phoenix. But DeAndre Ayton and the Suns against the Clippers. The Hawks and the Bucks get started tomorrow night. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 